Continuing the conversation around common microaggressions. So another one is not allowing space or the you know, um, for ethnic minorities to speak, particularly about racism. So, so you'll see, for instance, in, in meetings there, um, you know, people being spoken over or interrupted. Very, very common, particularly for black women. Um, also, um, you know, what th that also might look like is that there is consultation. So people are consulted and asked their views about, you know, how the company is doing with regards to uh, diversity and inclusion. But uh, not much is done about what is said or that what is said is so um, painful for the white people in that scenario that somehow um, those thoughts and views uh, disappear um, and are swept under the carpet and, and therefore they're not dealt with. And so it's very important to understand that this is dismissive. It's uh, again, a form of micro invalidation. It's saying that your experience is not more important than mine. This is so uncomfortable. Uh, we need to just not talk about it right now. Um, or, the, or there is a lack of um, know-how in terms of how to deal with it, uh, but it still communicates to the uh, racially marginalized people that, um, you know, this is too much for us. We can't deal with it. You're not that important. We're going to continue with business as normal.